Welcome back, guys. Episode 10. Baby dog. Baby puppers. John the evil. Cody. We're both bald. Proof is in the pudding. Well, not bald yet, but balding. That's why it's balding, not two bald dudes. We're going to have to change the channel name when we become 50 or something? I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take. 50? I mean, like, when I'm 40. I'm not sure. You don't know how long it'll take for you to get 50? Maybe when you're 40? No, no. How long it's going to take for us to get bald? Oh, dude, like a couple of weeks? This is bad. I'm, I'm, I'm regressing at a rapid rate. Uh, I would be concerned. I'd feel like you probably have cancer at that point. Maybe. Most likely. I'm going to try this drink. <laughs> it's pretty sweet nice dude it's pretty sweet I like the uh red sprinkles they're pink i, I didn't choose them. yeah i guess they are pink i yeah. didn't choose them at all it wasn't my fault so last night we went to an escape room uh we did on highway 93 near whitefish montana it was so much fun I liked it. Did yeah, you like it? it? Was, no, yeah, it was it was a, a ton of fun and uh props goes out to uh our game master. What was his name? Justin? Charles. Charles? Wait, was Charles the employee? Charles was the ginger with the with the coonskin yeah. hat. Right, right, right. He was our quote game master, but oh, the okay. owner operator. Um I think I his catch- name was Justin. Right? Yeah. The owner? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Props out. Uh, to both of those guys, they they made a a really fun experience. Yeah, it's called the Hidden Key. Um, they have what uh, th- uh two different yeah, two like rooms. scenarios. Yeah, you have to like try to get out of one room into the next room and then out of that room. Um, and it's fun. It's very <laughs> well. That hard. was well. That was for uh, you're talking about um one of the scenarios was the was it the North Fork? Yeah, cabin? yeah. Somebody was uh, um, we had to find him. He was injured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. You know, it's funny thinking about that now because uh, we were allowed to drink cold smokes. And so it was uh, tougher. Oh, and it, well, it made the experience a lot better. <laughs> we actually had to go out and buy more beer because we weren't sure that we could bring some. <laughs> so we went to the <laughs> gas station uh, because uh, we did. We actually did uh, two rooms. Um, so that was fun. Yeah, he let us do the second one, and then he showed us the third one that they've been setting up. Ah, oh, brain freeze. It was a construction zone. <laughs> the third I one. I can't remember what he said it was. It uh, is a secret society, kind of like the Illuminati or something. Nice. That's yeah, what I'm talking about. I'm sure about. that'll be fun. Yeah. He said it's going to be done in a couple of weeks. We should yeah. go again. Oh, yeah, yeah. We totally will, especially with uh, Alora working there. She'll get us in for free. Nice. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, but she'll just expect you to give her a great review online so that she can get her bonus money. Does she have a, a profile? On? Line? Tinder? What? <laughs> Is that where I'll be reviewing her profile? <laughs> I don't think she does. <laughs> like online profile, like there's so many. Like, what are you talking about? There's like Facebook, Twitter, well, fucking Reddit. I was just talking about whatever you were talking about. I don't know. I got to leave a review? No, no, no. I think it's like uh, if you leave a review like on Facebook or something and you mention her name or you mention whatever employee's name. Was, was your, your game, game master? master? Yeah, if they did a good job and you like give it like five stars or something and you mention their name and how they do a good job, then they'll get a bonus. It's probably like five bucks or something. Probably yeah, bonus like, is a Justin, bonus. Justin probably just gives them like a like a twenty five dollar gift card to <laughs> Starbucks, <laughs> 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 or one one free room. Uh, one free room. Yeah, That'd you get p- like one one uh, scenario for free. Well, as an employee, <laughs> it might be a little different. I'd never been there, and uh, I was expecting something so different that I can't even like put it into words. I I can't. Really? No. I, I, th- I, I literally was... thought that I was going to be looking for a key to get out of one room, and I thought that there was going to be stuff just Everywhere. everything taped on the wall or glued on the wall, just like the. It big... was going to be like, "Where's Waldo?" But 
of find keys. the key. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of. And, the, and the right then, key. or and then we're gonna get clues to like, <clears throat> kind of in the same way where we had to unlock bags and boxes and and the codex. In the same way, I thought we were gonna have to do that to try to find a key. <laughs> Literal key. Nice. I had never been there though, and, and I didn't. I've never talked to anybody who told me what it was like, so. I I just didn't know. That's what my mind thought. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. It's like a real life puzzle. Uh, I played them in uh in like a VR, like the Oculus Rift or something. Um, those are a lot of fun too. Oculus um, Rift. Do you yeah. just plug? <laughs> We're looking to get sponsored, by the way. We've got like a whole ten subscribers. Oh. What if if you could get a sponsor? Who would you want, or what would you want? Fleshlight. <laughs> Me too. That's a that's the best answer. <laughs> Actually, I stole that from H three H three. Nintendo made flashlight. <laughs> you wish. Then you could have like a V once Nintendo makes like a VR headset because I don't think they have. This is um, fucking delicious. <laughs> but uh, if Nintendo does make a VR headset, maybe they will start making flashlights. You know, it doesn't really taste like coffee though. It doesn't? Oh. Well, I'm sure it doesn't. You want to try it? Tastes like sugar. Nah, I'm good. No, it just it's, it's not something I'm interested in. Yeah, no, it's kind of garbage. What does it say on the cup, though? Does it actually say, like, Merry Christmas? Or they uh, they can't do that, right? Like, Merry Coffee? What does that say? I think it's, like, both of it. It just says, like, the Merry... What the fuck is going on? Ma- Merry... It's like yeah, there's almost cof- words on that thing. Coffee, sometimes, in some places. Are they not allowed to put shit on there? No. Um. Well, I think, like, one year Starbucks did, like, Merry Christmas. Or they... they um, or maybe it was like some kind of Christmas pattern and then they got pissed, off and they got pissed off or something like that. I don't know. People are really? weird, dude. Why do people care? Like, why do people care what businesses do? Like, it's their business. They can do whatever they want. And if you don't want to support them, like, you don't have to. Like, just don't buy their coffee. Yeah, I don't know. People are weird. I'm weird. That's for sure. Yeah. You're weird. <laughs> yeah. 100%. You smell that? Is that weird? It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> It's the smell of weird. Yeah. But talking about games, though, um, my brother actually mentioned uh, that game Snake. Um, if you guys ever remember playing that as a kid. Like the um, old one with the thing that had come down and you tried to shoot it, and if you like shot it in the middle, it split into two? <laughs> no, that's completely different. No, that's centipede? like asteroids or something. That's not asteroids, asshole. Mm-hmm. I cannot even believe you right. just said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said like it would split up and then like keep attacking you or something. That kind yeah, of the, like asteroids. The game where the thing slinks down like this and you're like a little gun in the bottom and you have to shoot up and hit. If you no, hit no. the head, you win. Right. If you hit the, the they're like little balls. It's like a little chain of centipede or something i don't know wiggle it no no this isn't that's not snake so snake is uh it's um like picture a black screen you have like one white square you're moving this white square around a piece of food shows up somewhere and then (gasps) you're supposed to eat that you're supposed to touch it which is eating it and then you grow to two tiles instead of just your one tile what if it was a taco tile you keep eating food and your tail gets longer and longer and longer and oh, then if yeah, you touch your this. tail, then you die. And so the question is, is it possible? Does the game even make it possible, first of all, to um, basically fill, fill up the, the whole, whole screen Yeah, with your with your snake body? Well, wouldn't you have to do like a coil? No, uh, no, not necessarily. I'm not really sure how you would do it. Um, probably like zigzag would be the easiest if you could actually do that. Um, zigzag would be... I would think. Do you watch a lot of know movies? I don't even know if that's possible, though. How would you get in that position? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm a child. <laughs> not sorry. I'm a child. I watched... Uh, I saw... 
Let me try again. There's this movie, Immortals. I was watching it earlier. Mm-hmm. Super like it. It's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever heard of that. What's it's it like... Uh, I can't... Uh, what was the actor? Have you seen Avatar? Uh, the main actor, the white dude? Yeah. He played in another movie, Titans, Clash of the Titans or something? Yes. Um, it's kind of like that. But... Uh, Clash of the Titans? It's that format. It kind The movie kind of reminds me of that. I'm trying to explain to you Immortals for okay. for someone who hasn't seen Immortals. It's kind of sure. that themey. Um, this dude comes out of nowhere with like a... It's like a... It's like a reflex bow, but when he pulls back, the string is like light, and he shoots this cage that has like titans that have been in, in this locked box, keeping them there for like centuries or something. Are you talking about Clash of the Titans or Immortals? Immortals. Oh, okay. But I'm talking about, um, yeah, it's got like a Clash of the Titans theme. Oh, so it is. Feel. So Immortals is like a, a, a mythology story? Yes. Okay, yes. just like Clash of the Titans? Yes. Okay. All right. That's I was cool. yeah I was yeah I like it I like it I'm really excited to watch the rest of it when I get home. <laughs> so uh, we 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 just stopped by and and got some uh, some coffee and uh, don't say we, it no don't say where it's from oh no I didn't say where it was from it's fine cool. we're not plugging that company I can't support them we don't <laughs> like them <laughs> I only got a gift card so for my birthday so that's happy birthday I'm John. Here. That was like, uh, you know, like a week ago now. On Tuesday, last <laughs> Tuesday, um, and we were talking about it on on the way to the coffee shop. Yeah, yeah. Probably because uh, I drove home last night, and I, it wasn't that I didn't remember it. I got home, and I thought to myself, "Don't remember the last little part. Like, what even happened right there?" And uh, John was saying how it's kind of like muscle memory, and that's how people get. In, yeah, you, you do something so repetitively that you don't even realize that you're doing it anymore. It's kind of like washing the dishes or brushing your teeth. Um, Shooting a, a basketball. Car. Well, driving a car on the same route every single day back and forth um, is actually really dangerous in my opinion because uh, um, autopilot, it's, it's like your body's on autopilot and uh, you don't realize that you're driving. I feel like um, that could lead to more distractions or something like you wouldn't realize that something is like in your way in the road or something like that. So I, I feel like technology though will, will probably help with that in the future. Like, uh, you know, things that Tesla's are doing and probably other car manufacturers are doing. Have you seen the truck that, that, uh, Elon, Elon Musk made? No, no, I actually haven't. Ungodly ugly. Oh my <laughs> God. You got to see this robot. He's taking over the world. You really haven't seen it? No, I haven't. Uh, there is another electric truck, though. It, it looks um, kind of I'm just going to type in Elon truck. Dude, do it. It's right there. Elon Muskie. Has arrived. Oh, that's None it. None of there. these are it. Oh, no. Go back to the, go back to the search results and then uh, click on this one. Do we have a picture? Nope. Just kidding. Go back. <laughs> totally breaks. Um, try the second one. It was just a day ago. That. <laughs> That's it? Oh, my gosh. What is that? Like a, a Illuminati Hummer? I don't know if I'd call it that. It's I really like the bar though. light all the way across. It's kind of stupid, though, because... People well, have bar guess. lights on their trucks all the time, but they are not yeah. allowed to use them. And now Elon makes a super. They're not. He makes what a fridge. Not to. What do you mean? I thought they were like for uh, off uh, off road use, anyways. You like can get. Like I'm trail. pretty sure you can get pulled over in town if you're driving around with your quote floodlight on. Um, which Depends is exactly what, what the fuck that is. I mean, tell me, what is that? Come on now. It's a headlight. Duh. I think I thought that. Uh, so I saw this this morning too. I think that. Someone, I didn't see the conversation. I just saw him turn around and uh, some some guy off like the camera kind of suggested, yeah, throw it at the window. And when he threw it, it broke. And everyone <laughs> acted like it wasn't supposed to break. So I'm not really sure what <laughs> went on with that. Um, yeah, that sounds goofy. 
Yeah, why would you throw something? Oh, it's supposed to be bulletproof. Yeah, yeah, yes. okay, that's what it was. I figured that, but I didn't want to say it because I didn't see it. All I saw was like the reaction of the window breaking. Well, look how ugly that fucking turd it is. It dude. doesn't look like it shattered though, so I think it worked. Um, because bulletproof glass, it doesn't. Uh, it's not like it's shatterproof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's supposed to capture the bullet or something. Yeah, right? it's a fridge on a Hummer frame. <laughs> What is that? And those rims, they're like, they're. It's kind of cool, though, like in the weirdest of ways. I don't don't really like it. At all, at the same time. (laughs) Like, if I could be the first one to have it, oh, I just. It's very simple, which I like, but it's like, dude, what what are you doing? Like, that just looks like a. It's supposed to be. It looks like it's supposed to be a Hummer. Um, Some kind of uh, Humvee or military vehicle. Like maybe he's selling that to the to DARPA. Who knows? To Darth Vader. To Get Darth out of Vader. here with that. <laughs> Those are going to be on the Death Star soon. Dun, dun. Do they need trucks on the Death Star? I don't know. I don't think so. They probably have like uh, other vehicles or something. I don't know. Or they have like floating. I feel like uh, I feel like uh, in a spaceship you just have like floating. Um, like platforms going everywhere <laughs> in a spaceship, dude. I think that would be sick. Yeah, like it's like all magnetized and shit. Magnetized, magneto. Yeah, because it's, uh, so you said spaceship, and yeah. you're talking about floating stuff, which immediately made me think of something. And I was kind of, and then you said magnet, and what I was thinking of was Magneto in one of the X Men. He had like his hand and he had like i think he'd just broken out of that prison and he had pulled all the iron out of like the security guard's blood and he made like three little metal um Magnus? marbles that were oh. kind of like in a circle yeah and he, he just he goes like this and while he was walking they were creating like pretty much little platforms underneath him and then so he'd take a step and go whoosh, choo, choo. <laughs> There was no sounds to it, but that's what yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's what came sick. into my head when you said, and it was like all connected. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, like that's like uh, the only way for like uh, hoverboards and and stuff to work is is like if you have a spaceship, right? Like you already built this entire spaceship, you might as well make like the lanes like magnetized or something. That way, like a hoverboard can like just hover over it. And then, oh. like anybody can just like push like two tons of like materials down the hallway. Like it sounds great. That would be sick. What if that's how the Egyptians did it? Could you do some <laughs> sort of like, <laughs> no, no, no. There's actually theories on uh, a couple of different ways on like how you could get like uh, those huge ass blocks up on a blanket. Really high. Well, uh, one of the theories is to use like a water elevator. Like, I'm not really sure what the exact term is, but I've seen like a, another YouTube video on it where, um, it's like a ramp. Um, and it, I don't even remember like exactly a water I elevator. Well, I don't know if it was That's a, so interesting. Yeah. I don't know if it was a ramp or not, but it's, it's essentially like, uh, you put a, uh, you could put a brick, um, at the bottom of like a, a chimney, like, like let's, let's just say it's a chimney. Um, you can pump water into that chimney maybe, and then, uh, wrap that brick with something, uh, buoyant, like, uh, you know, balloons or whatever. Um, not balloons, but hey, like, like pontoon barrels, for instance, like whatever they had access to, um, wrap it in like pontoon barrels enough for it to float, right? You close off this chimney, you pump up, you pump it in water mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. enough to get the brick all the way to the top of the uh chimney and then they would, the, so would the, the chimney have to be completely watertight in yes. this example yeah, yeah it would so oh man that's just I like really one, that's just like one way to do it um there, there's like a lot of very simple um ways to to make a pyramid um it's really not that bad it took them out a of long rocks the size time. of eighteen wheelers, John. Well, it took them a long ass time though to like build those pyramids, so it makes sense that they were. It wasn't aliens. Like, come on. I wasn't suggesting that. Yeah, I know, but I know like some people. That's the like that. consensus of it. Yeah, they're like, well, aliens just came down, and showed them how to do it, like, and and you can use your mind to like levitate this giant ass cement brick. <laughs> I sure can. It'd be nice. <laughs> if you could have one superpower, what would it be? 
we already talked about this. I, I uh, wisdom. I think I think being able to to uh, make the the right decision or something yeah, in every moment would be very powerful. powerful. Immortal, because like think about it. Well, would yeah. you want immortality and wisdom? One or the other. I would go with wisdom. What about flying? No. Why would you go with wisdom? Well, so you could have flying or super strength or um, invisibility or something like that. But that doesn't mean that you know how to use your powers like well. Mm -hmm. And humans are already like we're already pretty cool. Like think about it. Like we we kind of like admire the top like 1% of people like Elon Musk or um, other, uh, like an incredible athlete stuff. yeah or an incredible athlete um, like we admire those people so we know that humans can already do like some pretty cool shit right but the problem is is that nobody really has the knowledge or like I, I don't know like the wisdom to make smart decisions sometimes and so like if you had the ability to make every right decision um, or I mean, just it would be right according to you in your life. Uh, yeah, because there is well, no right or wrong way to living. There, no, no, there is no right. Yeah, yeah, or wrong no, no. to life. Yeah, at yeah. All. it would be like a question, right? So, like, how could I make a million dollars? For instance, like, uh, you would immediately know the answer to that. Like, given your current situation, like you have this much cash or whatever, or you, you could just be skills. an alchemist. You have these. <laughs> yeah, go you be an alchemist. You could just turn coal to diamonds. <laughs> It's not how that works. <laughs> well, you can make rough diamonds, but they're not going to be as pretty as like what we find on in the ground. You have to finish them. Um, no, no, they're still not as pretty. I you can think. turn paper to gold. No, ordinary granite to gold. No, as an alchemist. No, that's not how that works. That's magic. You're talking about like magic right now. That would be a superpower, would it not? <laughs> I, mean, I guess so. Yeah, I, or you're talking about superpowers. Yeah, it would be a superpower. If you could be yeah. an alchemist. How many times have I said that? Has anybody counted? <laughs> That's all we got. We're at the 20. Oh, nice. That's it for episode 10, guys. We'll see you next time.